Gary here, Lead Shredder, Metal Band Tongue and Cheek. Today I'm going to show you another section of the song Eatin' Ain't Cheatin' from the heavy metal band Steel Panther. As I said in the previous video, a couple things you got to know. The song is detuned one half step, just as is everything off of Feel the Steel. And the song is in drop D. Again, take your bitchin' Kramer, because you're not going to play anything else. Don't do. Th if you try to play this on any other guitar, it, you're not. it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to hear it. Only a Kramer can make it sound like this. So you take your Kramer with your D tuna, disengage it, drop your low E down to D. Okay? And um, the riff I'm going to show you today is um, the first riff for the song Eating and Cheating. Uh, it's kind of complicated, sounds a little weird. I can't guarantee that this is how Satchel plays it. Because, um, I mean, let's face it, Satchel's stoned a lot. A lot. Um, so, you know. I can't guarantee its validity, um, but this is how I play it. Um, again, drop D. I'll show you to you at regular speed, then we'll break it down, um, show you at slower speeds. So here it is at regular speed. <laughs> Okay, so that's the main riff uh, during the chorus, or I'm sorry, during the verses. Apparently Satchel's not the only one high as a kite. Uh, and I'll break it down and show it to you slow. Uh, there's a couple cool things involved in there. you got to learn to stretch your pinky, move your pinky around. Um, so the first note is um, you're going to base it off of your low D. And for that first chord uh, is a power chord. It's going to be your G power chord. Um, which is going to involve your first finger on the fifth fret of your D string and the seventh fret of the of the G string with your uh, pinky. Um, and then what you're going to do is after you hit that chord, you're going to hit it once, you're going to slide your, your first finger down one fret. That gives you that weird little, I love that discord. So those are your first two chords. Now this next one is going to involve a little bit of skill. You have to invert your fingers. You're gonna your your first finger is going to be on the second fret of your G string, and then what I use is my ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. So it's a backwards power chord. Then the next one is going to be you take your your first finger again, put it on the fourth fret of your G string. And this time I use the my middle finger or the how you doing finger on the fifth fret of the of the D string. So you go from the you go from inverted power chord to again the fourth fret of the G string with your first finger to the fifth fret of the how you doing finger on the D string. Then the next chord is um, you're going to bar across the fifth fret of your D and A string, which is basically going to give you a G power chord. Then how I do it is I bar it across. I, I use my how you doing finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and then I use my ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And then for the next chord, what I do is I've actually got my pinky hidden back here on the fourth fret of the D string so that when I lift it off I can lift off my ring finger from the 5th fret to the 4th fret and get that chord right there. Okay, So those chords all together are slide your pinky down so I'll do it for you again slow. And then from there he just goes to the to the C note. And see again, he's sliding his first finger down one fret. Satchel does this a lot throughout the, the CD Feel the Steel. And if you listen close enough, you can hear it. It's on Fat Girl, the Archie Blows. It's on just about every song that he does. So um, from there. It's a bitchin' harmonic. From there. Now, he goes 
through the entire progression one more time, only after this C part, he hits three harmonics. Now for these harmonics, you're actually not going to fret the note. You're going to put your finger above the actual metal fret, and you're not going to push down. They call these um, natural harmonics. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it above. The first one is above the fifth fret of the G string. Then the next one is the seventh fret of the B string. Then the next one is the fifth fret of the D string. And that's going to take some skill coming back um, from the upper one to the lower one and getting it right. If you don't lift your finger off, you're going to get a horrible, horrible, horrible discord and it's not going to sound right. So make sure that you do it very easy and very slow. All of this you want to make sure that you play it slow first because if you want to play fast, you got to play it slow first. So here's the entire riff one more time, and I'll play it slow for you, and then we'll build it up to speed. So there it is at slow speed, and again, work it up to speed. You never want to try to play it fast the first time. Learn how to play it slow. And again, I can't guarantee that that's exactly how he plays it. That's how my ear hears it. That's how I play it. So everybody out there, hope you enjoy playing this riff. Send me some comments. Send me some feedback. Let me know if there's a different way that you play it. Show me. Let's check it out. Let's see it. Let's hang out with it. Let's rip it up. And as always, scary out. Enjoy this riff. And have a great one.